Hi everyone, in this video we'll be doing a review of the Darkrock Advanced CPU Cooler that I bought a little while back. So I've already done the unboxing video, put a link to somewhere on the screen. In this video we'll be seeing how it does in a bit of DVD encoding using the standard stock speed for this CPU which I've got on AMD 1100T which is a 3.3 GHz 6 core processor. And I'll also be overclocking that to, I think, 3.8 GHz. Well, it will go higher. In fact, in the motherboard settings, I noticed it will go beyond 6 GHz, which I think will overheat quite nicely. Anyway, here it is at the moment. The fan is spinning at 900 RPM, and CPU temperature 34 degrees at the moment. Which I suppose is reasonable, because I am doing a screencast and monitoring the CPU, which is kind of all over the place. Here's some pictures of it installed on my board. As you can see it is quite a size. There is enough room left to get that memory out. Installation was fairly easy. Just un unbolt the existing CPU mounting plate. Put a new one on and bolt this cooler to it. Fairly simple. It's a pity with the AMD that it's top down mounting. I would have preferred front back. But it seems to be the way that most AMD coolers are. Which is really annoying. What we've got here is Handbrake. This will re encode a DVD using H264 encoder, so that'll use all six CPU cores. Got the audio going through as Dolby Digital pass through, uh, one subtitle track, nothing changed on the H264 settings, and no chapter markers. Just doing a single passing code at 10 mega second. Let's go for it. So you can see the CPU utilisation pretty much hitting near 100% on all the cores. Temperature and power display on my case. 255 watts of power being used and the internal case temperature is 28.6 degrees. The noisiest thing here is the DVD drive. Next it's the case fans and graphics card. CPU cooler is not making very much noise at all. Right, coming up to the end of the encode here. CPU temperature has stayed stable, 34 degrees. Fan speed remained pretty constant. The internal case temperature has gone up by about 2 degrees. It's now 30.7. There it is, complete. The power load on the machine is now back down to an idling level 167 watts. Right, using the same video to encode. So before we start, CPU temperature 34 degrees, you can see fan speed 870 RPM, internal case temperature 28.4 degrees. Let's do it. As we near the end of the second encode, you can see the temperature has remained at 34 degrees, although the, although the fan is spinning faster now at 1340 RPM. Power being drawn is now 270 watts, and the internal case temperature is slightly higher at 31.4 degrees. Right, so that concludes the review of this Darkrock Advanced CPU cooler. As you can see, it performed very well, even with overclocking. So the difference between 3.3 GHz to 3.8 was just 60 RPM on the fan. Very little. I reckon it could go much higher, overclocking probably just beyond 4 GHz. Not sure I really want to go that fast though, I'd rather pro prolong the life of this CPU. Yeah, definitely good value for money CPU cooler. Easy enough to fit. As long as you've got a 120mm fan on the back of your case, I'm sure that one will air, I'm sure that cooler will fit on absolutely fine. I reckon 9 out of 10. The only thing that stops it getting 10 out of 10 is not having the front back mounting option on AMD. It's stuck with top down which I'm not sure is the best way, unless someone convinces me that it is. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you later.